Well, I just got to say this. That is not easy. Those look like crap, and I'm not going to be able to use it. And I don't know how to measure out these tubes to get good quality looking bends. <laughs> What I did here was I laid some cardboard out on the floor. I set up my tank and my pumps and these bulkhead connectors I have and I took some pictures trying to decide how I wanted it to lay out and once I figured that out I took a whole bunch of measurements and I made a drawing on my computer and I emailed that to a company who does water jetting and I had them water jet a piece of steel that I bought and make all the holes in this plate so that if I was gonna sit and try to do that myself in my garage, I would just screw it up and it would cost a million dollars in drill bits and stuff. So after I emailed them the drawing, they emailed me another one back showing how they were gonna put it in CAD and then they water jetted it for me and now this plate is perfect. I also put two inch angle iron on the bottom to kind of stand it off so when I set it in the bed, the whole setup is then just resting on the airlines that come into the bottom. I made this mount that you see me making here for my manifold and next we're gonna bend up some hard lines and put those from the bulkhead fittings to the manifold. So I got my main plate and my manifold plate and right now I'm gonna set everything on there and figure out where I want to mount this where it will look the best. And so I got my bracket welded in and I got my air manifold mounted up. And these are bulkhead fittings so that I can uh, put hard lines from there to there so that it looks good. So I need to bend up some hard lines from here to there so I can get all this mocked up so then I can take it apart and paint it so that it looks really awesome. And I have this little cheap bending tool. Um, there are better ones out there and I probably should have gotten one, but whatever. Um, I don't have a way to find the angles on here so I'm just gonna have to wing it. 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 I just gotta say this. That is not easy. Those look like crap, and I'm not gonna be able to use it. And I don't know how to measure out these tubes to get good quality looking bends. Like this one is my first one, and it's just garbage. Like. There's no easy way to measure those out and bend it. I don't know how these guys do that. It's not easy. And it doesn't help that this tool is a piece of garbage. I paid $45 for this thing. And at first, it would just grab the tubes and pull them through. And then it would kink them rather than bend them. Kind of like that. That's not good. I had to file down these edges here and here so that they weren't so sharp and grabby. And then I had to use petroleum jelly to lube this and to lube the tubes so that it would actually make a good radius rather than just pull the tube through and kink it. Um, so this is a piece of crap. That is hard as hell. And I wasted all these tubes. So those are wasted. Um, as you can see, none of the bends <laughs> line up i tried to i drew a line for how deep that the tubes were going to be once the manifold is mounted and then i made a, a bend here to kind of try to mark these tubes on where to start my bend and stuff i don't know how to do this man that sucks i'm just bummed out that i just wasted all this material and all this time so this video was going to be cool and i was going to get my <laughs> air management all set up and ready to go so I could look at it before I took it apart and painted it, but I can't even do that because one, this is a turd, 
and two, this is just beyond my skill level. <laughs> I know there's math you can probably do for bend radius and all that stuff, but I don't know the math. I tried to look it up and there's really no good source for me to learn it quick and it's just, what a f***ing headache. I'll probably just use regular hose and uh, cut it to length and it'll look decent enough, I guess, because this crap is not gonna work. All right, and that is what my air management is going to look like. Since the hard lines failed, I put the soft lines in. I think they look pretty good, actually. They were 100 times easier to measure out than the hard lines, and this took me like not even 10 minutes to do these and it took me like an hour to fail with the other ones. And then this is what my air lines are gonna look like coming out of the pumps, coming up to the back of the tank. I think that matches pretty well too. And then I'm gonna have to take all this apart and paint this part right here. And the question is, what color do I paint it? Do I paint it black? Do I paint it green to match the truck or white to match the truck or what? Leave a comment down below what you think would look best with this. I think black would look cool because it would kind of hide the mount for the manifold. And it, it, I could put conduit around these wires to hide those if this was black. And the wiring that comes out of the manifold comes out right here on top. And that's got to come down and hide that. And I think black would help hide that too. So I'm kind of pushing for black, but I think that white or green to match the truck would look cool as well. If you don't know what my truck looks like, I got a bunch of videos of it on my channel. You can go check those out. I'm gonna leave my tank that color. Someday I might have it powder coated along with the bodies to the valves. I could take those apart and have those powder coated as well. But for now, I think it looks good just like that. If you haven't seen my truck project, you really should definitely check it out. It's gonna be really cool. I'm not quite done with it yet. I'll give you an update on that in a second. Subscribe to my channel because that's really going to help me out a lot. I'm trying to build this thing up and do something cool. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, come back and watch all my other shit. Quick update on the truck. The front end is going to need to be Z'd in order to lay frame. I was planning on laying frame until I could get the body off to modify the frame under the cab in order to lay rockers because I really want to lay rockers instead of frame. You see here how low the frame sits, and then here how low the rocker sits. So the frame is laying below the rockers, and I need to cut the frame up so that I can lay rockers, which is just really me wanting to get an inch and a half lower, and it looks a lot cooler while it's driving and parked on the ground. So if I'm gonna Z the frame, I can't Z it to lay frame, I need to Z it to lay rockers, and then I'm don't know if I'm gonna come up with clearance issues at ride height if I Z it to lay rockers while not modifying the frame. I'm gonna to need to know how to modify the rear end to lay rockers, and I think that'll be a little harder to do if I'm only laying frame. I feel like I don't have the room in my garage to remove the cab and modify the frame but I'm going to have to do that because I figure if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right the first time. So the next step on the truck is to install notches to clearance for the tie rods and then install the upper shock mounts and then take the cab off and modify the frame underneath there to clearance it so I can lay rockers and then measure and cut and Z the front frame. And once that's done, then I can put the cab back on, pull the truck out, turn it around, take the bed off, and then start on my four link and C notch in the back. So that's where I'm at on the truck. I didn't want to do anything on it this week because I've been thinking about what I'm going to do under the cab and what I'm going to do to Z the frame. So this week I took it easy and just played around with my air management a little bit, as you just saw. <laughs> That is what my 
error management is going to look like. Oh, farted. Um, 